Pacino with Malx 101. I am very, very proud and excited to present my first video and to teach my passion to all ages. This is a family friendly channel, so please, I beg you, keep the comment section PG. Without further ado, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit the not post notification bell so you can never miss another one of these great mallet lessons. Without further ado, let's get on. Right, so the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is basically what kind of mallets you're going to use to play on your marimba. So this is almost like a piano because of the layout. Um, it's pretty much we call it a keyboard xylophone, but that's this is specifically a marimba because of the keys and how they sound in terms of what mount you use, etc. It goes a long way. But anyways, we're not going to go into that depth. You can easily use a xylophone, marimba, whatever you have, even a piano if you're getting started, and just use your fingers if you're just going to learn here for, um, if you're just going to learn here excluding the part of the mallets. Um, over here, we have a nice shiny keyboard, okay? Um, and we play them with mallets, just like you'd play a violin with a bow, um, you'd play a guitar with a pick, etc. Um, so right here, we have the mallets. Um, these ones I will specifically recommend for any um, percussion player, percussionist, whether if they're a beginner or professional, etc., because these make any song sound amazing. Um, they're firm, they're, but they're, they have a firm touch, but it sounds very soft, um, and it's very light. This, this mallet is also makes the room very echoey, especially if you have really Wall, like walls that are really far from each other, roof, high roof, everything, just like I have here at home. It makes everything, whatever room you're in, wherever you are, it can even make Mary Had a Little Lamb sound like for Elise. I'm not joking. So I'm just gonna show you guys a quick demonstration. As you can see, the mallets make it really sound amazing. Um, that's pretty much all I can describe these things. Amazing. All right, so what kind of mallet you need? There it is. Robert Van Syce, M114, Vic Firth. Now how to hold the mallet so you can actually play the instrument, okay? So you're gonna take the mallet, okay? You can look at the mallet here. Very nice. And you're gonna take your hand. I recommend using your dominant hand when you start teaching yourself how to grip the mallet. So, you're gonna take your mallet, bring your hand, I'm using my right hand because it's my dominant hand, you're gonna take your hand like this, okay? Exactly how everything is. Put it right here, just like that. Take these three fingers, drop down here. So you want like about a few inches, hanging out over here, like a little tail. You take this finger, you're gonna wrap it a little differently. It's gonna be a little more up, like that. You're gonna take your thumb, put it right there. So you kinda have something like that. Another way, which is, this is the easiest way, okay? You're gonna just take your, um, take the same position. So take your mallet, same position, flip your hand over, fingers like this, just like that. Take your thumb, there, and at the same time, you're gonna enclose your pointer finger. Then flip it over, and there you have it. Now try it with your other hand. Just pick up the mallet. Many people will pick it up just like that. And you want to remember, never stick your fingers out like this. I've seen so many people doing this, whether if they're beginners or just picking up mallets and like, ooh, I can play this. Um, this is the most common mistake. You don't wanna do that because there's a lot of room for arrows, um, and also we're using our wrist. And if you put your finger here, it's kind of putting more pressure there, and it just kind of feels weird, and you're just like that. 
So, hold them like that. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. But keep your wrist nice and loose. So you're pretending like you're drumming on a cloud. You don't need that much pressure because it's just a little cloud. So practice this with me, okay? Whatever you have, pencils, mallets, sticks from outside, pick them up. Just do this exercise. Up, down, up, down, up, down. All right, let's move on to the keyboard basics. Since our time is almost up, I'm gonna quickly demonstrate keyboard basics in about five minutes. So, let's get started. We're gonna take your mallets and your hands like this. Exactly how I told you. Cloud, you're playing on the cloud. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're going to need about this much. So from this note, you're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. and you're just going Wah! all right so you don't want to do that now I'm gonna teach you guys take or teach you guys how to hit or hit excuse me stroke the keyboard so do your cloud thing jiggle the sticks take it to your keyboard play this note wow you just did a roll great work all right so we'll get into rolls more depth later, but first we're gonna finish up this lesson. So, you're just basically doing that. And when you wanna hit the note once, just keep doing that, but only do it once. are these okay I will teach you guys how to read sheet music later something like this this is sheet music see that that's a B flat we'll get into more depth a lot later but these notes can be written on there this is a C, C. Mm. okay um, how you can remember that is it's next to these two notes Kind of sound the same, right? Okay, I don't know. But yeah, that's the me theme song. Okay, I'm getting kind of off topic here, but let's continue. So, C. What comes next after C in the alphabet? D. After D? E. What comes after E in the alphabet? F. Continue. G. jump from G all the way to A? That's because we only go from, um, we only go from A until G. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Hey, we're not gonna worry about these notes up here, so don't worry about them. Get these off your shoulder. Right now we're worrying about these notes. And it just continues up. See? Next to these two notes. So that must mean F is next to these three notes. 
you can kind of remember how left looks like. If you take this note, keep it where it is. Take this note, place it on top right here. Take this note and place it here. What does that make? An F. Here, you can just remember C is over here. C and F. practice this um practice this for me okay i want you guys to try and memorize notes in one octave you remember what an octave is well we know this note's here so if we count up eight one two three four five six seven eight boom low high or if you use your ears you can hear that hmm. no that doesn't sound like it no Okay, because I want to get you guys as much knowledge about this as possible in your first lesson. Easy knowledge, too. Promise you guys, it gets really easy. So, practice. The first thing I want you to practice is figuring out octaves. Second thing, figuring out all the notes in the octave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. E, A, G, F, E, B, C. Keep going up and down and up and down and up and down. Until you've memorized that. All right, third thing I want you guys to remember and practice, how to hold your mallet. If you're bored, you know, what should I do? Oh, stick my hand on here. Uh, uh, cloud. And then practice your roll. Don't go too fast, just practice it slightly. And practice how to hit, just rebounding up and down. Remember, don't do this. It will be kind of tricky not to, and don't do this either, okay? You want to use all your fingers, so you can use as much fingers. And the last thing I want you to practice is saying, I can do this, I can do this. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Leave some support in the comment section down below, and leave a big thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned next Thursday for another great video and keep practicing. I'm Nina with Mallets 101. Yo guys, one last thing before I go. So, quick word about the mallets, mallet tips, quick thing. Make sure that you get one of these t uh, pairs of mallets, either this pair or this pair. They're both really great, but I recommend these ones, the M114, Robert Van Sice, Vic Firth. Link in the description for these two mallets. Um, more information will be posted down there. Over here, we have this kind of mallet, which came with this toy xylophone I've had for quite a while now. So quick words about this toy xylophone before I sign off. It's the same thing as the marimba, um, same stroking, etc. So basically what I said, except it's smaller... And it may, you know, kind of feel different. Maybe feel a little older because, you know, you may have had these since you were baby. This since you were baby. I recommend start off with these if you don't feel like buying any um, mallets or marimba like I have. Um, but yeah, you can also go ahead and start with the marimba is basically laid out like the piano, as you can see piano or a keyboard lying around at home you can easily just play along